Well, the final score certainly wasn't indicative with how tight this game was on Tuesday night here at Crypto.com Arena, but the Oilers did come through with a 5-2 victory. Now, Ryan Nugent Hopkins scored an important goal for the Oilers at the time as they were up by one, and since his return, he's simply been excellent. He has nine points in his 10 games since returning on January 25th, and the Oilers have gone 7-2-1, and one, a far contrast to the 1-5-1 and one when he missed seven games due to an injury. I, I don't think Nug, Nugget gets enough credit for, for what he brings to this team and this organization. And he's just such a great leader, you know, on and off the ice. He's, he's such a great character. He's, he does a lot of things really well and a lot of things really well and he can play in any position. So he's just, uh, you know, he's a player, he's a glue guy. He's a guy that uh, can play up and down the lineup, kills penalties, plays in the power play. So when you're missing a guy like that for an extended period of time, you know, those guys are hard to replace. So it's glad to have him back and obviously, you know, we can see what he does when he's in the lineup and helping our team win. He's somebody who uh, who uh, garners a lot of respect uh, from his teammates, uh, certainly from his coaching staff. And uh, I think most opponents know when Ryan Nugent Hopkins is on the ice. He's someone uh, who we've tasked with helming his own line, and that line's been really good for us. Um, it allows us to create some mismatches that we, we think help our team win. We keep it simple. We go get pucks, and uh, we make plays from there. So... Uh, last night it was kind of the same mentality. We just put pucks deep and switching sides and coming up with it. Obviously, if you're going to dump it in, you got to go get it. So um, those two those two guys do a great job of uh, getting in on the forecheck and creating loose pucks and uh, uh, making little plays to each other and supporting the puck everywhere. Nugent Hopkins has four goals and five assists since his return on January 25th. Now to open the scoring, it was the home side. But Mike Smith, after taking 100% of the blame for the goal with four minutes remaining in the first period, bounced back in a big way for 30 saves for his fourth victory of the season. You know, I'll take 100% blame on that play. It was just, uh, you know, Nemo's a new guy in front, you know, played less than 10 games in the league with me. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm active back there. So I think there's just a bit of miscommunication there, but, but uh, you know, there's a lot of game left. You know, there's a lot of game left where, you know, we're a high power offense that you just know you got to stick with it and just make saves and not let it get away from you. And I think the guys did a real good job of not letting it rattle us. You know, we just kept coming and stayed patient, like I said, and, and uh, we're able to stick with it, stick with it and, and able to get two points. And with Tuesday night's victory, the Oilers leapfrog both the Anaheim Ducks and the LA Kings and now sit third in the Pacific Division standings. For Oilers TV, I'm Tony Brar.